Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you with six, a 69, not two, not four video. Um, no, if I could enable full self driving, there we go. Um, I honestly do not expect a single change on this version, like at all. I don't, I don't expect any changes so, besides a few bug fixes. Uh, so we'll see what what's actually changed. So this is just going to be our normal saluted drive this morning. It's early on to see let's see what it does for us. Um, if you haven't seen already, oh, the tree on the line right there. No wonder the power flickered earlier. Um, yeah. Um, if you haven't seen already, uh, you the release notes for 69 that degree also came out. Uh, an employee even just must have got it, and they were on Tesla Scope or whatever, it, whatever it is. Um, that got the release notes. Uh, well, we're braking really hard for some reason. Maybe it's the fog. Hmm. But yeah, let's see here. So the GP, it might be the GPS. I don't know why it's saying we're off that far. So it braked hard still for this intersection. Let's see if it breaks hard for this next intersection here. Same, yep, braking hard for the same intersection. So if you don't notice why I'm pressing my foot on the accelerator to keep him from braking even harder. Because it's gonna like drop 20 mile an hour um, to brake. But yeah, that's um, the, that same, same exact thing as the last two versions. That hasn't changed at all. Uh, we'll see uh, 69 that degree is supposed to have some uh, the the way I read the release notes, um, of course you can never trust the release notes to actually portray real life enhancements, uh, but they seem to focus heavily on object and you know person detection, um, very heavily on detecting where the ground truth is and where people are in that version, and as well as. Um, they have one line where it says it's like 39% or something increase in the ability to detect um, lane lines is how I'm reading it. So at intersections, it has basically a better chance of detecting the correct lane to get in is how I'm reading that. Now I could be wrong on that. I'm hoping that's true because um, I did a 100 miles or something of full self-driving on Sunday and I think I had like three real disengagements. Let's see what it does here. Oh, of course, the leaves are gonna affect this too. See, it's, it's trying to stop. I'm gonna press this accelerator. I'm gonna go ahead and press the camera button. Supposedly, they've stopped the camera button, so I don't really know. Um, Green has said they have stopped the camera button there um, from using it. But we'll see. I'll go and check my uploads when I get home. We'll see if it see if it uploads a lot here. But yeah, like I was saying, I did like a hundred miles. We're on the wrong side of the road. First time it's ever done that. Interesting. I cut the corner really short. Oh, I bet it's the leaves. It's the leaves. The occupancy network thinks the leaves are something in the road. So it tries to go around them. That's exactly why. Yeah. But yeah, like I say, 100 miles, three disengagements, and like all three of those were due to incorrect lane selection. So th that, like, that's one of my biggest issues. That and speed limits. Having the incorrect speed limit and lane selection. Like, if you fix that and improve the smoothness a little bit, like, we're ready for full release. No, no questions. Like, I think having it select the incorrect lane is still something that's fairly critical to um, getting you know, why are we breaking so much maybe it thought we missed a turn okay it seems you know, slightly better on that but it's of course it can be a little bit different every time you go to do it So the real test, can it make this turn up here? Is it gonna make it? So 
every single time in the last couple of versions it's failed. For us, we can clearly see. Yeah, it's because it's stuck. Like, look. Maybe if I came in at like an, an angle. Yeah, see, now it's wanting to go that way. Let's see if it'll go that way this time. No, uh, see, look, it's flicking it back and forth. Pressing the, tapping the accelerator, and you're gonna, you want, turn left. Turn left, turn left, you can do it. Slightly went off the road, but we made it. I'm gonna, <laughs> still put a snapshot to see if they'll actually correct that. Also, we need to go all the way back across the highway again. If I can find the right way. There's the highway. It like wants to go, but doesn't know where to go because it doesn't have navigation point. It's, I wonder what it's gonna do here. I'm probably gonna need to it's interesting. <laughs> Wait, is it, it? It's gonna go now. Yeah, and it's going the way I want it to go. So this, this is what makes the most sense. Is it should go left. But now it's renavigated. It doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Huh. Okay. Now that I press the accelerator, got it to, got it to go. Yeah, that that is gonna be a big difference on. At this time of year, there's so many leaves on the road that it really affects how it drives. So a point in 69 knot three is that occluded um, turns like this one um, should be Im improved because it will now like you know predict that there could be a car behind it and react differently based on if things are uh, heavily occluded. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't remember our GPS being this far off on this version. Let's see how it does on this creep here. No. That's absolutely disengagement, absolutely a regression. Um, and it should stop. There's a car coming from the right. Like, look at that. It was going to go into that car. Uh, that's what that's what's terrible about this version. Uh, it doesn't read oncoming traffic properly. Um, next version, the release notes are promising, but that should be improved, like quite a bit improved. So, if if that happens often in the next version, like it's go it's going to drastically lose hope of this ever being completed by the end of the year. Like in terms of wide release, it's not going to be um, Robo Taxi by the year. That's just not going to happen. Not even next year, um, due to regu regulation at best case scenario. It'll be at least two years before you see a robo taxi um, in your area, in best case scenario. But um, th those type of things will get solved. Mind you, don't, don't like read me wrong. Those type of problems will get solved. It's just what's being said is like, this is incredible, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, but it just, it, saw the car on the screen and tried to run into it um, which is why it's not ready for wide release yet uh, those type of things have to be resolved for wide release to be you know safe if you will because the average person doesn't pay attention like if you start giving this to people who can't you know don't drive as well or pay attention uh, when they're driving and then they're gonna you know be on their cell phone or some crap um, not pay attention the car is gonna run into something um, because I had a couple instances, I actually had one where I almost got in an accident, um, coming, some guy, it was a, uh, they had a double yellow in the middle of the road, he came across the road this direction, and, um, cut right in front of me, he just didn't even check his blind spot, like, if I didn't break, my car for sure would have gone into him, um, I had, I had to brake hard too and I had to swerve off off to the side of the road. Um, he just kept on going, like nothing ever happened, didn't speed up or anything, just completely didn't check for oncoming traffic. Um, and just went across the road. 
that um, there's no question I would have T-boned him if I didn't take over. Uh, so it's it's quite interesting. Um, uh, those type of things are very rare, but have to be fixed. So in terms of is this better than the last version? Um, based on wow, this van is obnoxiously smelling. Um, okay. In terms of the last version, no, it's uh, not better. Um, in terms of like checking the un unprotected left, um, I, I really think this version is just bug fixes. So I really think that's just luck of the draw last time. It did really very well on those uh, lane changes. That's sorry, on the unprotected left. But this time it failed miserably. And maybe that's due to different lighting. Maybe that's due to the leaves on the road. Maybe that's due to different cars. Um, so I pressed the brake to keep it from decelerating too much there. And so, big, um, sorry, not the map. Um, oh, why is it? Oh, I put the mark on that. Let's see. So it didn't break for that intersection. Let's see if it breaks for this one. It still did yesterday. See, look. Look how much it break there. Of course, it's trying to trying to go turn right here. But I don't want it to turn because I can't I cancel the navigation. But that's not going to count as a disengage, everyone. But yeah. So yeah. Uh, this is strictly probably a bug fix in the software side of things here. Um, I really don't see any changes at all. Uh, if anything, it's regressed a little bit. But I, you tell me if you want to see the downtown Hendersonville, my fucking up um, if videos. You tell me if you want to see those um, after this. There's not really going to be much editing to this video. But um, if you guys appreciate what I do, uh, I will definitely make more videos. Uh, I will see you in the next video, everyone, and we'll go from there. I hope you have a great day. Bye.